Hey, welcome to Comics Crash Course. Thanks for checking in. This is Andrea Gilroy, your friendly host, and it is a lovely spring day in Eugene, Oregon. I am out enjoying a park and on my way to do some work. I'm checking in with a program note because I will be out for the next four weeks. Not because of the beautiful weather, although that doesn't hurt. Uh, actually, I'm wrapping up a couple of things, starting up a couple of things, and I want to let you know what's going on and let you know what's coming up next. So first of all, we just wrapped up our series on comics theory. There's obviously a lot more we can do, but I figure we've hit a good stopping point. Then I am just finishing up a great term at Portland State University. So I've got finals to grade. Uh, then March 27th, I will be at Books with Pictures in Portland, Oregon, interviewing Ed Govin about his recent translation of Gabay's Letters to Survivors. There it is. Uh, it is a really fascinating uh, French graphic novel uh, by a really fascinating artist. And we'll be talking about the text, the artist, and of course, comics and translation. That's again, March 27th at Books with Pictures in Portland at 7 p.m. The week after that, I'll be in Iowa, Davenport, Iowa, on the campus of St. Ambrose University for the International Comic Arts Forum. It's our 20th conference. It's a fantastic conference. I'm very proud to be a part of the board. Uh, and we've got a great slate of panels. We've got an, a fantastic keynote speaker. Our keynote this year is Dr. Anna Marino, who's at the University of Iowa. She's a fantastic scholar of Hispanic comics. Uh, and then we also have a slate of fantastic comic artists and writers, including Marnie Galloway, Rob Gullery, Alberto Ledesma, uh, Fernando Iglesias Cohel, and my personal favorite, Jaime Hernandez. Uh, and it's going to be a fantastic weekend, April 4th through 6th, if you're in the Quad Cities area or can get there. Uh, it's free for the public, so you can come to any of the events. It'll be a fantastic time. Then the week after that, I am headed to Philadelphia uh, for the second leg of the Marvel Universe of Superheroes exhibit. We had a successful and fantastic time in Seattle at the Museum of Pop Culture. But now we're going to Philadelphia and we're going to be at the Franklin Institute through Labor Day. Uh, so we're really looking forward to the summer on the East Coast. Uh, April 12th is our VIP opening and then the full opening is April 13th. So I'm going to be there for that opening. We have some great new original art. We've got some new videos and interactive features and of course some stuff from Captain Marvel. So even if you've seen it before, if you're on the East Coast and can see it, it's worth checking out again. We've got some really new exciting pieces. And if you haven't seen it and you can get to Philly, you should check it out. I'm really proud of the work we've done on this uh, and I'm super excited to show it to a whole new audience. Anyway, if that sounds like a lot, it sure feels like a lot. So for four weeks I will be putting Comics Crash Course on hiatus, but when we come back I'm gonna start a new mini-series on some world comics history, particularly looking at manga, uh, so Japanese comics, and bande dessinée or Franco-Belgian comics. All right, enjoy the spring and we'll see you then. Joys of filming at a park.